Good morning, students. This is Murthy sir. Today, we will discuss about one new topic: attaining the age of adolescence. Students, adolescence is the period of teenage between thirteen to nineteen years, according to World Health Organization. Students, adolescence is the transitional phase of growth and development between childhood and adulthood. The World Health Organization defines adolescence as the period between ten and nineteen years of age. It is teenage. Students, during adolescence period, changes are observed in the human body internally and externally. These are called secondary sexual characteristics. Students, now let us learn about. the secondary sexual characteristics in males and females students secondary sexual characteristics or features that appear during puberty in humans in humans visible secondary sexual characteristics include pubic hair enlarged breasts and widened hips in females and facial hair and adam's apple in males students when we look at the secondary sexual characteristics in males growth of body hair including underarm abdominal chest hair and pubic hair growth of facial hair enlargement of larynx adam's apple and deepening of voice increased stature adult males are taller than adult females on average heavier skull and bone structure are seen in males Students, secondary sexual characteristics in females are increase in height, widening of the hips, softer and smoother skin, increase in breast size, growth of pubic and underarm hair, enlargement of external genitals, formation of mature ova, beginning of menstruation or menstrual cycle. Students, now let us learn about some changes that take place at puberty or adolescence. increase in height change in body shape voice change increased activity of sweat and sebaceous glands sebaceous glands or oil secreting glands which are present in the skin development of sex organs students now let us learn about these changes in detail Initially the girls grow faster than boys but by about 18 years of age both reach their maximum height the rate of growth in height varies in different individuals some may grow suddenly and then growth slows down gradually students there is a formula for calculating the maximum height attained by an individual The formula is present height divided by percentage of full height at this age into hundred. For example, a boy is nine years old and one twenty centimeters tall. At the end of the growth period, he is likely to be one sixty centimeters tall. Students, now let us see the changes that take place in body shape. In case of boys the shoulders become broader and the chest becomes wider the muscles of the body grow prominently in case of girls the region below the waist becomes wider the muscles of the body do not grow that much prominently students now let us learn about change in voice at puberty the voice box or the larynx begins to grow Boys develop larger voice boxes. Boys have a deep and hoarse voice. The larynx is visible clearly. In girls, the larynx is hardly visible from the outside. Girls have a high-pitched voice. Students, now let us learn about Adam's apple, which is seen in boys. The growing voice box or larynx can be seen as a protruding part of the throat. it is called adam's apple adam's apple is actually a partial growth of our voice box or larynx students adam's apple is formed due to elongation of thyroid cotylase 
Students, during adolescence period, there will be an increased activity of sweat and sebaceous glands which are present in the skin. Sebaceous glands are oil secreting glands which maintain the glow and healthy nature of the skin. Students, in some adolescents, due to increased activity of sweat and sebaceous glands, there will be formation of pimples on the face. Students, one important point is we should not scratch those pimples. We have to apply some cream or ointment by taking doctor's advice. Students, during puberty in both boys and girls, complete development of sex organs will take place. They attain sexual maturity.